Hi, my name is the original DJ Raj. I stream regularly on Twitch and Mixcloud. One of the most important things for us as streamers is to ensure that we keep our audience and listeners engaged. But more importantly, how to give them a bit more control over the stream. That will get them even more excited and more hyped and more tuned in with us. You've probably seen some people on Twitch using a command called Boom or Capagen or something similar that by when they enter the command in the chat, you will see a bunch of emotes on screen explode into hundreds and thousands of emotes various, using various different animations. Have you ever wondered how this happens? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can use this in your streams with three simple steps. But first, let me show you a quick demonstration of how this works in Twitch. Okay, now let's get this demonstration started. So there are two things I want to show you. One is uh, OBS over here, because I can show you the result of the explosion within OBS without having to go live. And second thing is the actual command I'm going to enter in. So I'm going to enter that command in Twitch chat, and I'll come back and we'll do this into a scene demo over here, and you'll be able to see the end result. So first, let's go to a browser, into my Twitch chat, and in the chat, we enter explanation mark, boom. As you should know by now, every command in chat is uh, starts off with the explanation mark. And I'm going to pick this dancer, click enter, go back into OBS, go to the scene demo, and there you go. You have that emote now doing various kind of animation, in this case, starting from the bottom, working your way to the top. The different, because I, there are many different uh, kinds of uh, animations that can happen, explosions, movement, left to right, stuff like that. But this basically is a quick way to sort of show you what, this, uh, what the boom explosion, what the Capogen uh, explosion looks like in the Twitch stream. As you can see from this very, very simple tool, how easy it is to give some control to our audience and listeners and keep them more engaged with us. Well, enough of the intro. Let's get to it. There are three steps involved in getting emote explosions to work on your Twitch stream. First step is to enable a chat command that when entered, it will actually trigger the emote explosion. The second, the second step is to create an overlay that will display the emote explosion and the associated animations. And the third step is to add this overlay into our OBS or other broadcasting system software uh, as a browser source. The first two steps occur in StreamElements.com, which makes it a much easier process. Now, there may be some other tools out there that do something similar, but because StreamElements is free, it's already used by a lot of other people. Uh, I felt it was easiest to actually use this myself and to show you how to use this. Okay. If you know of any other, other tools that are simple to use and free to use, please put them down in the comments. Now let's get started by going to StreamElements.com. Okay, so here we are on StreamElements.com. And one of the first things we're going to do is connect StreamElements with our Twitch account, if you already have not done so before. Okay. And it's a fairly straightforward process. We just click over here with, uh, we, we, just, we just click on the Twitch button over here where we connect. Uh, and uh, if it asks you to authorize, then if it's your first time ever coming to Stream Elements and it will ask you to authorize, go ahead and click the authorize button and continue. And then you're gonna come to this dashboard over here. And also if it's your first time coming here, there will be uh, a message somewhere on the top over here asking you to authorize or, or activate the chat bot, uh, they're allowing Twitch to be able to communicate with Stream Elements and then Stream Elements being able to monitor the chat that's going on. Okay, since this is not my first time doing it, since this is not my first time doing it, uh, uh, I obviously don't see that option over here. Okay. Now, the first step after we logged in here and, and done everything else, we're going to scroll to the bottom left hand menu and find what's called chat commands. Going to go to chat commands, and this is a default command already called Capogen. So we, we're going to search for Capogen. We keep scrolling. So notice how at the, at the moment we are looking at uh, commands that are available to everybody. We keep scrolling, and we don't see Capogen here under under uh, everyone. We keep scrolling down under moderator, 
and there this voila capogen. But thing is, so a couple of things. Right now it's called capogen, and you may want to rename this to something else, like boom or bang or whatever uh, you know, uh, whatever pleases you. Now I'm going to use the word boom here. I'm going to replace capogen with boom. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is you change the user level from moderator to everyone. Now you can set this to whatever uh, whatever you like, subscriber levels, regular VIPs, whoever you want to actually give access to uh, this command uh, to use. Okay, so I'm going to leave it everybody. I'll leave the other stuff default. Uh, I'm going to leave this uh, uh, enable command for both online and offline, and I'm going to also create what aliases. Or aliases are an alternate way to trigger the same command because some people are still uh, some gamers may still be used to the term capogen instead of boom. I'm going to leave capogen active. So I type in capogen, hit enter, and now I've created a new alias. I'm also going to call one more called, uh, this is for my party crew DJ group. I'm going to call it PC DJ. So now that I've created my aliases and everything else looks good, click on save. As soon as I click on save, you notice the capogen no longer appears under moderator. Is gone from here under E between E and O. You're missing. That's because we made it available to everyone. If I go up now, okay, you will now see boom appear on top, and it is user level is for everyone. So this is the first step. We're done. We cannot close this. Uh, we cannot close that little accordion window, and the first part of this is done. Now the second step is to create an overlay. So we scroll above on Stream Elements dashboard menu, and we're going to go to what's called My Overlay section over here. So we're going to create a new overlay over here. I already have a whole bunch of other ones created, but we'll create a brand new one. So we, to create a brand new one, we go to the top right-hand side where it says Create Blank Overlay, and just simply click on it. And a new canvas will appear asking you, uh, as well as asking you what resolution that you would like to have this new, uh, this new overlay. I'm going to leave my 1080p default, 1080p as default, because I can always resize it to um, 720 or anything else that I want. Or actually, you could go down 720. If you want to go high resolution, you can then select 1440p. But, I, but that's up to you. You can pick whatever uh, resolution that you prefer. So once you've done that, we now have a blank canvas to play with. And the next step is to add a widget. Click on Add Widget, and under Alerts, so we basically mouse over alerts, and we see more, more options appear. And one of the options, one of the options here is called Capogen. We click on Capogen, and it brings up a small window of 500 by 500 pixels. And we can just leave, leave that alone for a moment because that's that's not going to bother us, okay, uh, for now. And the reason why it won't bother us because under settings over here, the first setting is we're going to use the entire screen for emotes. Now you can always resize this uh, window in OBS later on, but for now we're just going to leave it to cover the entire screen. Okay. Uh, the mode size over here uh, is 112 is default. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now here's the key parts where it sort of shows chat modes. So we got off, on, and uh, on combo mode. Okay. By accident, I click combo mode. But so combo mode is going to basically only take effect when a uh, certain combination of emotes are entered in uh, within a certain time frame. I personally don't like that. I like to sort of just say show all. Okay? And now I will show every emote, even the, even the ones that are duplicated or triplicated in the uh, chat. Animation, I leave it to random because uh, it's cool to see different style of animations each time someone uh, triggers this command. Underneath here, this is optional. You can say, that, okay, you know what? This is available to, sorry, you want to be able to en enable emojis. These are the emojis that people type in to the keyboard and not the, not the Twitch emotes. So you can either enable that or disable that. I like to, I like to leave that enabled. If you want to make this available to subscribers only, you can, you can check that off here. Uh, you can also pick custom emotes if you want to. Okay? And, you can, and then you can specify how many emotes per user. I left it unlimited. Okay? So sometimes you might see people type in boom, uh, you know, with the emote and the number like 1,000 or 5,000. So that's the number of, number of emotes that will then get, uh, get animated. Okay. And how long to keep it on the screen? I left mine five seconds as well too. But you can make it a little bit longer if you like. You know, I wouldn't keep it too long, 
you know, let's say maybe let's say seven seconds. Okay? And for the main part of when a person triggers the emote command, uh, emote exposing command using the word boom, we're actually done this part. But I want to show you something else. It's a, it's a, there's another menu here called emote explosions. And what this does is we click over here, is it will also do a, an emote explosion when certain triggers are, um, are, are, are noticed automatically. So a trigger could occur when you have a new follower or a new subscriber or someone tips you money or cheers or whatever. I personally think this is overkill because this will constantly keep your screen uh, too busy with too many emotes on there. It may even block, you know, uh, uh, prevent people from seeing what you're really doing. You know, uh, I personally would maybe, you know, pick stuff like subscribers, maybe tips, not cheers, not hosts, raids, you know, maybe purchases if you want, okay? And <clears throat> here's the other thing. So when you do this, when these events are triggered automatically, you can actually select which emotes to uh, explode. So you click on emotes, and it will show you your own Twitch emotes that you have uh, created for your uh, tier one and tier two and tier three subscribers. Okay, as well as the other emotes that are available to you. Okay, pick as many as you want, little as you want. You know, by default, so I already picked some of my own. I can sort of say, you know what? Okay, leave all of mine, and maybe I'll pick a few others. You know, it, it doesn't really matter what you pick. You just pick a few others that you like, and click submit. And um, and this part's done now. So, what will happen is, when that event is triggered, these emotes will automatically explode. The other thing to keep in mind, this is a bonus tip for all you guys, is when somebody when someone enters the command boom without an emote in the chat, the emotes that are selected over here under the select emotes are the ones that will be uh, exploded. So this actually um, portion here serves two different purposes. For all intents and purposes now, the overlay, we are done. You can, you're, if you want to change the size, position, and everything installed below, you can. Okay, I'm gonna leave everything else default for now. Let's just close this little window. Uh, name this to, let's call this test, explosion, overlay, click save. Right. Now that we save this, you wanna create, uh, actually you can do a test over here before you even go to uh, bring this window into OBS. Uh, and the way to do that test actually is go to your chat. So I'm going to go to my Twitch channel, and I will show you uh, by issuing the command what happens. Go to chat. So as you know, every command that you enter, you have to have the explanation mark first and then the command. Okay? Otherwise, it does not recognize it. So I'm going to pick this emote. Click done, we go back into the browser, in the other window, sorry, and there you go. You can see that working, and you can see it's covering the entire screen. Okay, so, so far this part is working great, and we can now move to step number three. So, let's copy this URL again, I don't remember if we did or not, but let's copy this URL. Okay, this is, what, this is the link up here that we need to copy and paste it into a uh, browser source. Okay, so now in OBS, we're going to complete the third and the final step in the setup. Uh, I'm just going to use the scene I've already created called display, so I can capture my display and show you all the settings while I'm doing this. And I'm also assuming that you already know how to use OBS and you're familiar with it. If not, please check the fantastic videos already available on YouTube for many streamers on how to uh, use OBS. So let's continue on. So in this scene, I'm going to create a new source. Uh, click the plus sign here, and it's going to be a browser source. So we can scroll up, find browser, click it, and I'm going to call this stream elements. You can see I've got a couple other because I've been doing some testing. Explosion. It'd be really help if I can type. Demo 2. Click OK. Now, in this window here, in the properties window for browser source, we're going to change this URL from default one to the one we just copied. I will hit Control-V to paste it. Change the width to 
1920 by 1080. Leave all the other settings by default for now. Click OK. You can now see that there's a new source which has been highlighted with this red border along the uh, source boundary. So this is what's set up right now. And let's do a quick test. Now I have Stream Elements, uh, a plugin that they build called OBS.Live uh, uh, installed on my OBS here. And this allows me access to the chat as well as some other features within uh, Twitch right in with OBS without having to go to Twitch every single time. So on the right hand side is the chat functionality. I'm gonna click in here and type in boom, explanation mark, boom. As you know, every command starts with the explanation mark. And I'm gonna pick a, uh, an emote. Let's pick uh, Ernie here and click enter. And you will now see the uh, emote Bernie move from bottom to top. Pretty cool, we know it works. There's one minor little problem that you may want to adjust, it's up to you. You notice how the emote covers my face and covers my layer. The problem with that is when people start to use this feature a lot, sometimes you have very little time between each boom entry. Therefore, your face will always be covered and you may not be able to see a face for a minute or two minutes. So sometimes it might be better to move this layer or the source just beneath your camera. Okay? So this way, at least you're not hidden. So let's, let's try this one more time. I'm going to issue another command here, boom, to test this, see how this looks. Okay, boom, and this time we'll pick Bert. Okay, and you can see the explosion happening from center and working ways out. And it's also behind my face and my layer. Okay, it's up to you, your personal preference as to how you like your setup. This now in concludes the third step of the setup. So you can see it's a fairly straightforward process to be able to introduce a new cool feature, the more explosion in your streams. Right? Again, in summary, the three simple steps are first, trigger the, uh, well, first configure the command that's going to be used to trigger the actual explosion. Second one is create the overlay that will display the explosion of the emotes. And the third step is to bring that source um, as a browser source into your OBS or any other broadcasting software. And there you have a cool, nice little way to keep your audience more engaged and, and hopefully they'll have more fun while they're on your streams. I hope you like this content. I would ask you to please like this video below, click uh, like button, subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you're notified of any new content as I publish it. Also, please leave me comments and I will sure to get back to you and respond to every single comment that I can. Thank you. Have a great day. And until next time, this is the original DJ Raj.